Hello, awesome students. It's Dr. Fultz. I'm going to show you today how to format your APA reference page in Google Docs. Now, there are four qualities that every reference page has to have, and then there's a fifth sort of optional one. The four qualities that we're going to go over today are alphabetical order, double space, hanging indents, references in bold, and then last but not least, this is the optional one, where everything is in Times New Roman and 12 point. So let's take a look at the document. As you see, I already have it up for us. And everything is already in alphabetical order, so we don't have to do that. Notice if it's in alphabetical order, not according to the titles, but rather it's in alphabetical order according to the authors. The second thing, as I mentioned to you, everything has to be double space. So how do you make something double space in Google Docs? First, you want to highlight everything. In my case, I'm hitting Control A to do that. And then what you want to do is you want to find the menu that has the lines, the arrows, rather they go up and down. In my case, I had to go into this little three dots uh, button here that says more, the sort of ellipses. And if, when you click on that, additional menus drop down. And so here I click on line and paragraph spacing. And then you'll notice we have a variety of options for spacing. We just want to click on the double space. Now, once we click on double space, you want to make sure that there is not additional spaces between each of your entries as I have additional spaces. So I want to just delete those. That's pretty simple. I mentioned too that you also have something called a hanging indent. The way you do a hanging indent is again, highlight everything. In my case, I'm clicking control A open to the menu options here. So if you should be able to find a menu option called format, you click on format, scroll down to the third menu option in format, then uh, let your cursor hover on align and indent. What should happen now is another menu will pop up to the right hand side, slide over to that menu, then slide down to the last option, which is called indentation options. Once you click on it, you're gonna have another screen that pops up like this. On the very bottom of the screen, there is a drop down menu called special indent. Yours is likely selected as none, but you wanna click on that arrow to drop it down, and then you wanna select hanging. Once you select hanging, likely it will say 0.5. If not, change it to 0.5 and then click apply. And then immediately you will see we have what's called a hanging indent here. So now we've done the basic format for the entries themselves. And as I mentioned earlier, we also have up top of the page, the word references. That's pretty simple. We just want to add that, type in the word references. It needs to be centered. And so what I've done is highlight it. Again, you want to find the menu that shows alignment. So in this case here, it says left align. You want to go to center align. If yours doesn't show up, then you want to find, again, that's three dots. Click on that, and then that menu option should come up. Now click on center align, and voila, it is aligned now. We're not done with that yet. We need to make it bold. So once again, fine, go up to your menu options up here. Click on the B and then it should be bold. And again, make sure that the doc, the, excuse me, the word that you are trying to modify is highlighted. So that is the requirement for what a references page should look like in APA format. Most of your instructors, however, are going to ask you to put it into Times New Roman and to make sure also that it is 12 point in size. So once again, highlight everything, go up into your menu options. You wanna find the menu, the drop down menu that says font on there once you hover your cursor on it. Likely your default font is Arial. So if you click on it, in my case, Times New Roman comes up as a recent font that I use. For you, it's possible that you'll need to scroll all the way down alphabetically to where it says Times New Roman. Click on that, your font's going to change. And then the last thing that you want to do is, again, make sure everything is still highlighted. Find the numerical or the point size menu. It says font size here. You can either click the plus, you can click on it and type in the font that you want, the size that you want, or you can scroll down to where it says 12 and click that. And that is the way your APA reference page should look. Let me zoom out there to make it fit so you can see visually. So that's exactly the way it should look. I hope you have a great day. And as always, if you find this video useful, and if you want other helpful tips about formatting an APA or MLA style, please subscribe.